Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit different because I'm not on camera and Mela's not on camera. However, I wanted to show everyone how to do this. Um, I've been seeing on online a lot of people doing the new icons for uh, the iPhones with the new update iOS 14. So I wanted to show you how you can get your phone looking like this or like this. This is Mela's phone. This is how it used to look like, and now it looks like this. Hey, and stick to the end because I'm going to be showing you where you can get some of these icons that I have created with Mela, so stick to the end so you can check out where you can get those from. So first of all, you need to um, open the app Shortcuts. If you don't already have it, you can download it for free from the App Store. What this app is going to allow you to do basically is change the icons for, um, for any of your apps. First of all, this app or shortcuts was meant so that when you tell Siri a specific, uh, th saying or a specific thing, Siri would do a lot of different things at once. Or when you tell, or when you create an icon, you can tell Siri, hey, when I click this icon, I want you to do X. In this case, when I click this icon, I want you to open photos or I want you to open Facebook or Instagram. So what you're going to do, you're going to create a new shortcut. The way that you do it, you open the app, you click on the plus. Now you're going to click here at action. You're going to click on scripting. Then um, you're going to do open app or you can actually just um, search for it right here. So new or add action, open app. And it's going to be this one right here, open app. So now you're going to choose the app that you want to do it for. Let's just say we're going to do it for, let's say Instagram. You click Instagram. Now, um, let's change the name. Let's put Instagram and done. And you can um, click done here. So now you have it there. So basically when you click on here, you're telling your iPhone that you want this to open Instagram. Now, how do you add it to your home screen? Well, you click the three dots, then you click the three dots again, and then you're going to click here, add to home screen. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click on this little icon right here, and this is what's going to change it on your home screen. So this is what's important. So you're going to click here. And then you're going to choose where you want to take the icon from. So if you have the icon on your uh, phone, you can um, add photo. Or in this case, you're going to choose file. That's where I have mine. I have mine on file. And then you're going to look for the icon. So you just look for the icon wherever you have it. Sorry, not icon, but Instagram. So that's the one that I want to use. So I click on that. And now it looks like that. Now, whatever you see on there, whatever name is going to be added to your home screen. I don't want to have anything. I don't want letters. But if you do, you just leave it as is. And it's going to put whatever you want. But I don't want it to say Instagram. I just want the icon. So I'm going to click the X here. So it can take the Instagram for the um, name. And now add. Add it to home screen. Now, when I go to my home screen... Is going to be added right there. So that's what we just did. So now when I click on that, it will open Instagram. So that's what it's doing. Okay. So now for the widgets, let me tell you a little secret about widgets. I personally don't like them, but I know most people do and Mena loves them. So Mela's actually going to explain how to do the widgets because she is the widget pro. 
As you can see, I already did some of his widgets. I put some hearts there. Okay, so if you want one of these, um, you can go to Widget Smith. Whoopsie. You can go to Widget Smith, okay, and you're going to choose if you want a small, medium, or large. So Ray chose a small, and he chose something simple. So, but literally, you can change it and make it your own um, using any of these. And then you can change the font, you can change the color, the background. So I'm somebody, I like pink, so I chose like one of these here. But anyways, so that is how you do that. So you save it. All right, and you have it ready. And then how you add it to the screen. So I'm going to do it on here so I can show you. You press on it. You go to the plus sign. Okay, and then you're going to search for your widget smith. Widget smith, and then you're going to choose the one that you did. So we did a small one, add widget. Okay, let's say if that's not the widget you wanted, you just press down on it, edit widget. And actually, I wanted the small number one instead. And they're the same, so it's not going to change. But for mine, I had pink and then black, so I chose the pink one. So that is how you do that one. Now, if you want something cool like this, like a quote, you can download the app Photo Widget. So what you do is you go to Photo Widget. And as you can see here, I downloaded these for Ray. <laughs> He's not going to really use the heart one. I have to delete that one. But I thought it looked pretty cool with his screen. So you add all the pictures you want. You can go up here, add from your library, or you, and you can get things from Pinterest, whatever, yada, yada. You can get scripture. Once you added on here your photos that you want, to add this widget is kind of similar to the widget smith. You shake it. You do the plus sign. Um, you look for photo, photo widget. And then you, I want to do the medium size one. So you can do small, medium, or large. So I'm going to do the medium one, add widget, and there you go. That is how you do widgets. And that's how you get your icons to look like this. All right, and as I promised, I will link below where you can find these icons. Okay, you can get them on our Etsy shop. Also, I will link below a couple of them that you can try for free before you actually purchase them. So that way you can at least try it out. Once you try it out, you can go to our Etsy shop and purchase the rest of them. I think we have a total of 50 of them. So let us know what you think. As always, if you like this video, like it and subscribe so um, you can continue watching all of our videos. And I will see you next week.